Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. I am Miss Nurfadila from Chemistry Uni. So in this lecture, I will teach you chapter 2 atomic structure. So before we start, I am pleased to remind you to always have a lecture note together with you so that you can write down any extra note that I write on the slide. Okay, so let's start. Let's continue with postulate 3. So for postulate 3, Niels Bohr proposed that at ordinary conditions, the electron is at the ground state. Ground state is the lowest energy level, which is N equals to 1. So if energy is applied, the electron will absorb the energy and is promoted from a lower energy level to a higher energy level. And the process is called excitation. So to further understand postulate 3, let's use the energy level diagram. So at ordinary conditions, the electron is at the ground state or the lowest energy level, which is N equals to 1. So when the energy is applied, either in the heat form or the electricity form, the electron will absorb the energy and will be promoted to the higher energy level. So to calculate the energy absorbed by the electron, so the changes in energy between these two levels, delta E, is equal to the energy of the final level minus energy of the initial level. So the initial level is N equals to 1 and the final level is N equals to 2. So E2 minus E1, so the value of delta E will have a positive value. So the positive value also indicates that the energy is being absorbed by the electrons. Postulate 4. So in the last postulate, Niels Bohr states that electron at its excited state is unstable. It will fall back to lower energy level and release a specific amount of energy, also known as photon of energy, in the form of light. So the energy of the photon will be equal to the energy difference between the energy levels. So now the electron is at the excited state which is a higher energy level so electron at excited state is unstable so what happened is in order to restore the stability the electron will quickly fall back to lower energy level by releasing a specific amount of energy in the forms of light so to calculate the energy release by the electron so delta E changes in energy is equals the E of final level minus E of initial level. Now the final level is where the electron falls or drop which is N equals to 1 and the initial level is N equals to 2. So E1 minus E2 so the value will have will be the negative value. So the negative value also indicates that the electron is emitted or is released by the electrons. So let's summarize all the four Bohr's atomic postulates, starting with first postulate. So he states that the electron travels around the nucleus in circular orbits. So for hydrogen atom, the electron is at the ground state, which is the lowest energy level, N equals to 1. Postulate 2, the energy of electron is quantized, meaning that the electron at specific orbit has specific amount of energy as you can see here. Postulate 3, when energy is applied, the electron at the ground state will absorb the energy and is excite or promote to higher energy level. And postulate 4, Electron at excited state is unstable, so it will quickly fall off and release 
a specific amount of energy which is the difference between the between the energy levels final and initial in the forms of light Relationship of light, energy, and wavelength. So, energy release when electron drops is a radiation energy, which is a photon of energy with appropriate frequency and wavelength. So, delta E is equal to H mu. So, H is a Planck constant. And as you know before, so mu is actually C over lambda. So, if different amount of energy is released, we can see the light produced is with different wavelength. Wavelength can be seen as a line in the spectrum. Wavelength also can be in different regions in the electromagnetic spectrum. For example, if the light produced has a wavelength that falls within visible region, it can be seen in various colors. So, in the next video, you will study about the line spectrum. In addition, you will learn how to apply this equation during tutorial class. And before we end, why don't you try this quiz? It's a matching quiz. And this is just a preview for line spectrum in the next video.